Hey, 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 welcome to one of my favorite places. I'm in the garage. You can see that. Why do I have to tell you? I guess because it's YouTube and we say silly things like that. I don't know. But look at this mess. Here, let me get out of the way. Blah. So much stuff on the bench right now. Why? Well, because we had a lot of fun this past weekend. We had a RC bash. My dad was here. I was out with the boys. We were running a bunch of cars on the backyard track. Uh, I'll make sure I post a, a link down in the, the description below. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. The X-Max took some, some abuse from my son. Six-year-old driving the big old X-Max. It probably weighs as much or more than he does. But, um, yeah, you don't see the X-Max up here because he doesn't have a home, guys. He's too big. I don't know where to put him. He's just kind of like on the floor where it's cold and damp right now. There's leaves that have blown in because we had the garage door open. It's just not a happy place and that's where he lives. But the rest of them get to be up on the shelves and they're having a great time hanging out together. Some of them are injured. They're like, check out this scar. Uh, look at what I broke. You know, I broke my arm five times. But uh, yeah, so there's a bunch of stuff on the bench. Look at all the transmitters though. Woo! Uh, I tried to remedy that. I bought a DX4R Pro and uh, but this weekend wouldn't have been able to happen if all of these were bound to the same transmitter so I uh, learned a little bit of something there uh, which I'll talk to you guys about when we start looking at all this stuff so we'll get right to that guys I'm gonna get this off the tripod because you don't want to see me you want to see the cars and the stuff so let's let's do that all right well that was easy enough so First off, here is my dad's ruckus. La la la, ruckus. So, uh, we had a little bit of an issue here with that. You can see, uh, where is it even? There it is. The drive shaft here, or the, uh, you know, some people call them CVDs. I don't even know what we want to call it. It's not really dog bones on this because it comes right from the gearbox, like, slash differential. But he busted that off right there's where it broke so um yeah anyway that's an easy fix got the parts already in for that uh his battery have a little bit of a project that i took the viterra v100s out just to run it it's a pretty sweet little car um i still need to work a little bit here on the esc to get it tuned just right how i want it for this um my dad's transmitter's back there this is my RC10 B4.2 RS. It's the race spec. It's the ready to run, guys. You know how I feel about that. Some of you guys don't agree with me, but it's how I kind of roll a lot of the times. Uh, I know how to get in and work on it. I just wanted something that I could get out and run on the track when my other car was down. But I've been having this issue, man. The ESC will just, it won't stay in. So I keep putting in all this new servo tape and I think the problem is I've just been lazy and haven't taken this paper off of the bottom here. I don't know. But this is like the third time I've put in new servo tape, double sided tape, and it pops out and it ends up hanging out of the body and doing weird stuff. So this uh, is the transmitter for the HPI Flux. Uh, for Sport 3 RS, I don't know, there's some numbers and letters and names and all of that kind of stuff for it. Uh, but, you know, it's their fast one. It's a ready to run that goes like 70 miles an hour if you get the right gearing for it. Uh, while we're down here, let's just go down the line. We've got my G-Made saw back uh, with a D90 body from RC Four Wheel Drive. The Tamiya Unimog. The c 10 SCTE with the new paint job. That has not been run yet since I painted this. So I need to remedy that. One of my favorites, the Axial SCX-10 Jeep Rubicon with the worn winch on the front here hanging out. Um, my kids' cars are up on the bench. Transmitter for this low C mini desert truck for this one. And then this is one of my all-time favorites, the Grave Digger! Yeah. Um, I changed the receiver because transmitter uh, system in it because this one is just I don't like it this one you don't have to have the big antenna sticking out and all that so I like that about it but we've been doing welding we've got 
The batteries charging all over the place all the time here. So we've got, look at these, we've got three S's back there. There's two three S's uh, inside the X-Max right now. Um, these are actually a wireless mic set for my camera. Um, I picked this up the other day. This is cool. Trash can. Scale goodness. Picked it up at the dollar store. So, yeah, that's a pretty cool find. Just got that. Uh, down at my feet, we've got the DX4R Pro in this can. Tools, spare parts. Now the problem is guys, with all of these trucks, my organizational system has not caught up with the lot here that you see. And so I've got kind of parts everywhere. I don't know what to do with them all right now. So I started with what's in this bin. There's bins inside of that bin um, that have the stuff from the SCX-10, the low C10, the Grave Digger, those were the main three that I had a lot of parts for, but now I've just got so many parts building up, I don't know where to put them. Um, these are repair parts actually for the X-Max, which like I said, is on the floor here. And we totally broke this bumper, and look at the bend in that. See the two sides should probably be the same. What do we got, we got here. Look at it curve, totally messed that up. So I'm going to run it though, like this, because it still pro provides plenty of protection, but I've got the spare for when it goes. But if you listen to this, you hear that squeaking? We bent one of the uh, the pins in there, the hinge pins, and so got a, a set of them here um, to put in and replace uh, the suspension pins. In that these are some of my favorite tools I just picked these up at the local Walmart but look at this we've got different bits on them we're doing some quick work but um, yeah anyway that keeps it nice and easy but I'll be working on my dad's truck tonight um, I'm probably gonna work on this ESC so one of the other issues I had was with this DX3 s that I picked up uh, on Facebook and uh, I lost all control of the Unimog down here uh, just couldn't get it to connect. It wasn't driving. I thought it, you know, saying something about batteries or power um, not being enough. But I put in new batteries. It seems to have enough um, battery power and voltage and all that. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's still a little, little low. I don't know. You guys tell me. It's like 6.2 volts. But um, I connect it to my GX4R Pro and it works again, so I don't know if something happened to the transmitter. I don't know what's going on, guys. If any of you have this and you've had issues with it disconnecting and not controlling the cars and know what it might be, be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know. You know, I bought um, the Spectrum receiver because I wanted to bind a bunch of cars to one system. The problem is, I wouldn't have been able to have that fun day on Saturday if they were all tied to one remote. So I have a couple that I now bind. So the SCX-10 is to the DX4R uh, Pro as well as my LOC. And I think that's it right now. Oh no, I ended up uh, binding the, uh, the Unimog as well because, you know, chances of these three all running at the same time are slim to none. So that's kind of what I've got going on. I didn't actually point over here. We've got the plane chilling out. There's a, a drone up here uh, that is for work, but I have it here because I have to register it and I need all the numbers off it. And then uh, more transmitters for the plane. This is a little mini drone, the Hawkeye 2, which is a lot of fun to fly. I like the little drones because it's nothing like this one which basically flies itself in fact it would like just get rid of its operator if it could whereas this one is completely reliant on you controlling it at all times um, so we've got you know just a smorgasbord of just you know um, glues and oils and diff oils shock oils grease WD-40s these are all my like charger parts here uh, Dremel attachments and tools up there spare wheels um, these which I have have not used these beadlock rims for axial I got for the Yeti but never used 
Um, I've got some Bondix sitting back there on the power supply. Anyway, guys, I don't know what you guys want to see from me right now. I'm, I'm kind of, I've been down with this cold. I call it my winter voice because it's kind of raspy and low from the changing of weather and sinuses and all of that. Uh, but um, anyway, it's been really windy. The, the weather's been pretty bad here the past couple days. Haven't been out running. I'm going to get working on some of this stuff tonight. Uh, but I thought I'd just kind of show you, you know, the chaos that I'm I'm in right now with the cars. And it's a good thing. I'm totally, totally cool with it. I think it's fun to get out here and to work on them. And, uh, you know, I enjoy it. The, uh, the mess of receivers is a little bit overwhelming. I wish they normally actually are all up hanging up here and out of my way, which they're going to be in just a minute. But I, I left them down. This is where he pretty much dropped everything when we were done. Unplug the batteries, recharge them. The only cars that I've had out again since then were the uh, X Max, and I took the buggy out again for just a little bit, um, just for fun. But um, oh, I didn't point this out. Check this cool thing, the Grave Digger. It's my like workbench uh, stool. Pick this up at the Grave Digger Dungeon, which is really close to us. It's about 40 minutes. We can where the Grave Digger. Uh, it's worked on, it hails from, all that cool stuff. Um, so anyway, if you guys, you know, if there's something you want to see from me, I'm probably going to be in just kind of a little bit of flux for a little bit here uh, till I get some of this stuff out and running. I really want to get the X-Max out for you off of some really big jumps and see what it can do and the abuse that it can take because that's what I like to do. You know, I, I'm the durability tester for RC cars. Um, I just like to see them fly through the air, land hard, uh, see if they can flip, if they, you know, what happens if they hit a tree in the air. Not intentionally, I never abuse my cars intentionally, um, but I do want to see what they can take. I want to go big, and so if it can go big and it can land and it can do it multiple times, I'm all about that. And there's always going to be a problem, you know, the first jump usually you're trying to set your speed. And you can be too slow, too fast, and you know you can end your run on the first jump. So um, you know that's part of the game, figuring it all out, and I love it. So it you know gets me pumped up. But uh, yeah, so if you have any questions, if there's something you want to see more in depth in this arsenal that you see here, the transmitters, what I've got going on, uh, batteries, you know, what, anything about batteries or anything else that I do. Um, I just did a uh, cleaning video and uh, how I clean my RCs, kind of detailed that out. Oh, I should point out I also just picked up, I want to start brazing, so I just picked up some map gas and this little welder's goggles and some brushes and stuff. So I want to start brazing some stuff for my uh, scale trucks. Anyway, there's a lot going on. Uh, there's not much time because I work a full-time job just like uh, most of you do. And this is just my hobby. It's what I do for fun. And so, you know, what you see is what I'm able to squeeze in at the end of the night after my kids go to bed and all of that or what I can do on the weekends if I don't have, like, house things that need to get done, you know, chores. You know, you grow up, you still get chores, kids. Uh, you don't get to get away from them just because you're an adult. Uh, yeah, so, anyway... Um, the track also, we're having some trees cut down, we're getting ready for the septic. Some guys came through with their their tractors and we're moving some wood and there's big trenches now in there. So things are kind of just down here for a little bit. And uh, But I still want to be able to provide you content if you want to see something. If not, you know, I'll wait till I can get things going again. But anyway, I just want to put it out there for you because, um, you know, I, sometimes I just talk about what I want to talk about. But uh, if there's something you want me to talk about, leave it down in the comments below, guys. We'll catch you later. Have fun, RC, and keep your fingers on the triggers. And let's see what those things can do. We'll talk to you later. Bye.